Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about some of the classroom management strategies and incentives that I am using going through winter break and also what I've been using throughout the year that have really helped me out. So if you need an extra push or some fresh new ideas to get you to winter break, then just go ahead and keep watching. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Alright, so something that I've been doing since the beginning of the year are class tickets. I usually just get a big ticket roll off of Amazon, but because I've been going through so many tickets and have not really been on Amazon as much lately for my classroom, I've just been buying these packs at the Dollar Tree. There's about 250 tickets in these and I have like anywhere from five to six packs on hand at a time because I really do go through tickets. So what I do is I give tickets for turning in homework sometimes, I give tickets for for participation in class I give tickets for you know really just like stellar behavior I find any reason to give one or multiple tickets sometimes I'm giving like 30 to 40 tickets at a time because they're so easy and the students collect the tickets and then on fun Fridays we do a raffle um, so when they get the tickets they write their name and their initial on it when we do the raffle they put however many in the bin they want based on the prizes that we have and then I'll pick like 10 to 20 tickets gets to do the raffle so sometimes I give away candy sometimes I give away prizes um, sometimes I give away the secret prize slips that I'll talk a little bit about next and then all the extra tickets just go in the garbage it is a little on the wasteful side but my students really enjoy doing raffles and realistically when you're putting like tickets and things in to win a big pot you don't necessarily get it back anyways in life so it's just something that I enjoy doing you could probably do it in a way that's a little less wasteful, but personally, it's what works for me, and the kids really value having them. I don't really have a class currency in here, um, so they use their tickets for things such as that as well. So I talked a little bit about giving some of these secret prize cards out for Fun Friday and what they are. They're called blue tickets, but I have some white ones in here. And my first year of teaching in the Target Dollar Spot, they had these little like scratch sticker things where they're like lottery tickets and underneath i put prizes like a special snack um, teacher chair for a day game picker 50 dojo points because we use class dojo um what else have i seen sit with a friend homework pass things like that and um, I raffle these away, but I also give these out to students who I feel like are doing an exemplary job in um, just really their behavior. You'll notice throughout this video, a lot of my incentives and classroom management strategies are based on behavior because it's something that we're struggling with as a group. So um, I know you can get these little scratch stickers off of Amazon. I actually have some in my cart. I think you can get like a 500 pack or something for less than $10. So it's definitely something that I would invest in. And then I have a little bucket that students put them in when they're done to kind of like turn them in. I pick one every morning and I put it in our daily slide. So like this morning, one of my students, I picked her card out and she had a game picker. So she had the opportunity to pick the game that we played for morning meeting. Um, I also had a student who could redeem and get 50 dojo points. So I took that out. And then um, when they get special snack, I just have them turn it in and write what snack they want on the back of it. Most of the time it's hot Cheetos or Takis. So whenever I have those on hand, I'll just grab them out the bucket and then I'll staple it to the bag just to turn it into them. But they really really live for these tickets like these big secret prize tickets more than these because they know that there's some really fun stuff on this and this is also something that I used to build morale so this next one is pretty popular it's secret student I usually just put a little post-it note on the back of it with the secret student for the day and so what I'll do is as students are coming in in the morning for breakfast and um, are kind of just like getting ready for the day I'll pick a student and I'm watching that student every day are they following expectations are they handling arguments and disagreements appropriately are they you know trying their best and sometimes I pick my students who are having a harder week um, because it gives them a little bit of like a boost of energy when I'm like you know my secret students doing really great today when like 
maybe five or six minutes ago I had just given them a compliment as well because then it puts it in their mind that like they also have the opportunity that the secret student could be them um, and then what I'll do at the end of the day during closing circle if my secret student successfully made it I'll reveal the secret student to everyone but if they had a little bit more of a tough day then I'll just say the secret student didn't get it today but I'll never say who it is unless they actually get it. And then the last thing that I'm using a little bit more now specifically geared towards like getting us through winter break. I feel like a broken record because I've been talking about it so much, but this is our hot cocoa party incentive chart. Um, I have these little mugs with numbers on them and every time, every time my students earn a mug as a class, I just add it in. We have 12 opportunities to get it before the week of winter break. Right now you can see my class has earned five. And then I just keep the extra ones in a pack like this bag right on my board so it's easy to give to them something i do want to note is that once they earn it they don't get it taken away for doing something um that probably they weren't supposed to do because i don't want them to think that it's a punishment like oh no we don't want to lose our mugs or whatever um because this is something that they earned without you know feeling like it can easily be taken away so i definitely have been using this it's very fun, they enjoy getting mugs. They feel a sense of pride when they get mugs. One of the biggest ways that they can earn a mug easily is getting a compliment in the hallway because in the beginning of the year, we really struggled with our behavior in the hallway. And honestly, like ever since I implemented um, this incentive system, it's been huge. And I know like, Obviously, everybody's prerogative is not always to do something that um, costs money. Like I said, I do have some things in my secret prize stuff, like the little scratch off thing that don't cost money, picking the game, dojo points, seizure chair, homework pass, things like that. But at the end of the day, what you do with your money is what you do with your money. And sometimes I like to spend it on my students. So if you liked any of these ideas and you want a few more, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see See you tomorrow for the next episode of